Welcome back to the channel. I'm out in the shop now. We're going to be working on the 68 Mustang drag car. It's a car I'm building for no prep. I'm going to do a little suspension work tonight, dial in some things that need to be adjusted, fix a few things, and I'll show you everything that I'm doing with it. Cars on the ground. Ride height is pretty good. Front end sits up just a little bit higher. The back end will be down lower once I get all the weight in it. Put 27 inch tall Hoosiers on the front to kind of take up some of the wheel well. Had uh, 25 inch tires on it before. Balloon tires now. As the car sits, we have about two degrees of camber in up at the top of each wheel. If you're not familiar with the suspension that is under the front of the car, it's all based off of Fox Body Mustang parts. I used Fox body spindles and struts along with the upper mounts. It has Lincoln uh, Mark 7, I think it is, 11 inch rotors or five lug. Um, and then I'll be using SVO uh, calipers, which are 73 millimeter, which is a, a larger piston than the stock five liters have, even the V8 cars. So that'll help with uh, braking power. Can't afford the, the hot boy brakes like all the rest of these guys out there. TBM way out of my budget as well. These are the lower control arms that I was talking about. They're kind of like a hybrid setup. I did a video previously about these, but I've since modified them. Um, a friend, Thor Prestigard, recommended that I box the whole control arm in. I had it boxed from that point to around the ball joint. You can see all the reinforcement I put in there, but I didn't have anything back here. He made a really good point that I didn't even think about. Originally, these cars had upper and lower control arms. It helped distribute the weight of the car on those two control arms. Now the car is going to be held up by this lower control arm. So made absolute sense to box this whole thing in. You can see I have the steering disconnected. That's going to be part of what I'm working on tonight. Trying to get the uh, steering a little bit better alignment and also as it was going through the travel, the with these um, QA1 bump steer kits, they give you basic Heim joints. They're fine, but when you get into longer travel suspension, like with this strut on uh, the Mustang Fox body stuff, you end up getting into bind. bind. I contacted QA1 and uh, they recommended a, a high clearance Heim joint. So we're going to put that in and, and uh, see if that makes any bit of difference. And what we're going to do to address the travel, it's got a lot of travel. It's got about 7 inch travel, which is great. It's what I wanted. But when it's at full extension like that, tires are leaning more than I'd like them to. I'm afraid it's going to be really ill handling. Um, so I'm going to put in limiting straps to uh, take up some of that travel so that the suspension doesn't get so out of whack. Here's the radius rod arrangement. I have Heim joints on those with aluminum pucks that I had specially machined out of Chevy truck 
solid body mounts, if you can believe it. Worked out perfectly. Goes down to a quick tie down bracket. Just in case I'm down in Mexico, quick tie down and go. Por eso canto canciones. What I'm going to be using to limit the suspension are 15 inch long straps from PRP. Uh, bought these through Summit. Going to attach one end to the motor plate mount that goes to the frame and the other end to the lower control arm. Muchas canciones rancheras que hablan de mi hermosa tierra, de su gente y tradiciones. Portamos el traje y sombrero de charro y el nombre de México es mi bandera. Portamos el traje y sombrero de charro y el nombre de México es mi bandera. The straps are in position. Looks like it clears everything nicely. Now we'll take it up and uh, see how much the straps limit the front end. I took my travel from 22 and a half to about 20 and a half, maybe a little more than 20 and a half. So I got two inches of travel pulled back out of that. And that's an acceptable camber for me. Now you can see the difference between this one, which is a high clearance heim joint, and this one, which is not. Hopefully that gives me the clearance that I need. Well, I think we got it. Had to do some adjustment to the bump steer kits from where I originally had it set, but I think we're pretty good. Steering arm runs pretty perfectly parallel with the control arm. Both sides. And these high clearance heim joints really did the trick. Huge difference there. So what, I go, what I've gone from with those straps after I turned them, was from 22 inches from the top of the fender, or the opening of the fender, to the center of the wheel, or right where the spindle is, center of the spindle, being 22 inches. Now I'm at 20 and a half. That's not too bad camber wise. I can live with that. I think with these, these tires, the way they're designed, I don't even think I'll feel anything. They'll ride just like they were flat for the most part. I think what I'll end up doing, I'm not a big fan of that. I'd like to move them to the back side like I had it. What I'm going to do is end up wearing two inch shorter straps and we'll see how that works out. Probably end up having a collection of straps by the time I'm said and done. <laughs>